Hey guys, it's Eyes Notomato here. Welcome back to Eyes Notomato Draws. In this episode, we're going to be drawing a bit of Metroid fan art. Samus Returns, particularly. Um, now, first off, before I do my usual rambling thing, I'll actually talk about the drawing for once. So, what it is, is that um, you'll notice me go through several iterations, because this time I decided I would actually show you my conceptual stages. And I'm going to be honest with you folks, I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, for me, the hardest part of the drawing often is the conceptualization. Once I get that, then it's all like autopilot, you know? Once I get like the base scribble down, this uh, concepting stage, look, I've already gone on to a new one. I, uh, I can go from there and I can um, just do the inking and then I can do the coloring and it's all fairly, you know, just autopilot. So it takes a while, but yeah. But I just... Every drawing is like, sometimes it just clicks and I go, I know exactly what I'm going to do with it, but other times it's a bit of a trial. And that first drawing you saw me do before, I actually, I drew it down, I was like, I was really happy with it, I went out for a while, I came back and I was like, nah, it's not good enough. So, yeah, so here you can see me trying several different, like, brief attempts at what I was going to do, you know, and eh, not happy with that. And finally, this is the one where I actually <laughs> um, get into the drawing. So yes, Samus Returns is a lot of fun and uh, because of it um, I've gone into a bit of a Metroid kick lately and I've been super into Metroid again um, <clears throat> for those of you who don't know hopefully not many of you do uh, don't know because I'm hoping that Samus Returns does exceedingly well as does everyone because we want more Metroid games um, Samus Returns is a remake of Metroid 2 uh, Return of Samus, which is the subtitle, interestingly enough, and uh, it recently came out, first Metroid game in eight years, um, I counted, not including Federation Force, um, and yeah, it's fucking awesome, man, it got me way back into Metroid again, so what I've actually done is, after I finished, because I actually finished Samus Returns like a couple weeks ago, as soon as I finished doing that, I'm like, I'm going to go back and play the other Metroid games. So I went and I played through all of Fusion, and now I'm playing through Super, and then after that I'm going to see where I can find Zero Mission, because I, I don't know if it's on the 3DS shop. I couldn't find it there. Super Metroid was, and I already had um, Fusion from the Ambassador program. But, um, yeah, so I'm a big fan of Metroid, but it's kind of weird. My, my, my past and history with Metroid is kind of fucked up, because it's all, although I super love the games, I hardly own any of them, and I've only finished a handful of them, but I'm trying to kind of redeem myself on that. I, like, a lot of games I got really far in, but I just never finished it for one reason or another, and none of them necessarily have to do with me not enjoying the game or whatever. Just one thing or another pops up in my life, I just couldn't finish it. If you want to know the few games that I actually have finished, actually, I mean, now I've finished... Fusion at last, and obviously I finished Samus Returns and all of that. I'm pretty sure the only actual other Metro game I finished beforehand was fucking Hunters, of all things. But, you know, Hunters is an okay game. It's weird, because that game is, like, there's a lot of things I like about it, but my god, the things I don't like about it really outweigh the, the others. But that's a rant for another I don't know, if you want to hear me talk about Metroid for a fucking hour, then... I can, man. I seriously can. I've been so into it lately. I've just been going back for all the games, watching a million different videos, because everyone's covering it nowadays. And I thought, of course, that's like, it just felt natural. And I'm like, I'm finally getting to do another speed drawing. Which, by the way, it's been a little while, I guess. Uh, Metroid was just like, is perfect, you know? Um, and even though I'm, you know, playing the other Metroid games, I thought, I'll definitely make a Samus Returns one. And it's, for a while, I mean, like, you want to talk about conceptualizing, for a while, like, I couldn't even think of what I wanted her to fight, you know? Because at first I was like, you know, I want her to fight someone like Fantoon or something, because I really love Fantoon and its design, or Nightmare, you know, from Super Metroid and uh, Fusion. And I was like, ah, uh, I don't know, I feel like it should be relevant to uh, Samus Returns. But then I couldn't decide what I wanted from Samus Returns, like, there's so many different, like, Metroid forms and stuff like that. The Queen is pretty cool, but I, I don't know. But personally, my favourite Metroid, other than Lava which I really do love the lava form. I really like Omega Metroids because, like, they've always come across as, like, a really kind of big boss thing. So, you might notice, if you're a bit of a Metroid fan or if you're just looking at the artwork on the side, my uh, Omega Metroid doesn't necessarily replicate either that of the one on the left or the one on the right. It's actually sort of a weird hybrid between the two and actually, also, I primarily kept in mind the, uh, spoiler alert, the last Omega Metroid you see in Metroid Fusion 
Um, and I sort of kind of made my own hybrid because I'm going to be honest, a the new design I'm not that big of a fan of. It, it looks too, I don't know, not unique. You know, the, I found that the original like artwork for it and stuff with the crazy colors and stuff was just so much more unique. And then in Fusion, it's very colorful. It's really interesting. And it still, you know, looks like a Metroid. And, I, you know, I thought that, oh, a bit of creative liberty here. And I all kind of designed myself. Obviously, I'm just designing, um, I'm drawing Samus's armor, which, by the way, which, my God, her armor is far more detailed. I've drawn it before. I've done it for thumbnails and stuff before in the past. Uh, funnily enough, when we played Metroid 2 on AIM, um, uh, the original Metroid 2 that is, of course, and um, yeah, no, I don't remember it being this complicated, there's like a million things to it, it's like, it's fine, like I said, I was listening to something else in the background, time just went by, but you'll see, like, this was also a really big drawing, uh, it was funny, the entire, like, I cut out bits of the footage because, like, I pause it and go for breaks and stuff, or sometimes I open up different tabs and, like, browse the internet for a while to take a break or whatever. But you'll see it takes, it goes over the course of two days with about three hours each, roughly. Well, more like two hours each, I guess. It took, like, three hours all up. No, uh, no, it didn't. excuse me. It's more like two and a half hour recording sessions, roughly. Um... But what actually happened was, it was kind of funny, the entire, like, footage that I recorded, um, and that includes my breaks and stuff, turned out to be, uh, 4 hours, uh, 59 minutes and 48 seconds. I shit you not. It's like, oh my goodness. I thought it was just funny. Little tidbit for you. Little bit of creation tidbit. Because, like, when you make, working a big piece like this, you know, you get a lot of stories, and you go through these little frustrating bits of, like, thinking about stuff and working on something and it's all like little things like that and I really hope I don't forget any of I mean there were bits where I'm like I gotta talk about this but I don't know you know it's, a, it's really just nice to kind of sit back and relax it's one of those things you get so up in the moment and then afterwards you go eh it wasn't that bad but um yeah I ended up being super happy with this piece I mean obviously it's not done yet so you haven't seen it yet but uh yeah I uh the thing is I haven't actually drawn for a little while uh, because what happened was, is I went uh, away to Darwin for two weeks to, to draw. And I drew every single day. And I worked on my graphic novel cast, which, by the way, is out now. My webcomic, which there'll be a link for it in the description, I guess. Um, it's coming out, rather, I should say. It comes out every Tuesday and Thursday. Sorry, I'll stop shooting out for the time being. But, um, but after I went there and I did that, I didn't draw for, like two weeks at all uh maybe a lot i don't know i just the first week i just took completely off but you know my number one problem when it comes to getting work done is starting and i like that'll always be my biggest problem if i can get into it i can just go for hours not even thinking you know time will fly by but just the starting of a piece of of any kind of work is grueling for me for some reason i just can't get into it, so there's just been so much procrastination, and, you know, time that's just not available, and oh my goodness. You'll find here as well that the Omega Metroid, despite looking like more complicated than Samus in my opinion, like off the bat at least, doesn't take nearly as long. And you get to see my more finer details as I sort of refine it, but I try a, a couple of different techniques that I don't normally use, primarily use sh cell, uh, cell shading and stuff, and I do do that a bit in this, but I do do a bit of, um, blending and things like that so you get to see a bit of that a bit of the paint tool which is an amazing tool i love it so much it's a really good blending tool but that'll be when i do the coloring later on right now like i said i'm making a sort of hybrid i'm primarily looking at the one on the left admittedly like i wanted to sort of have the one on the right thing sing true but eh, you know I mean, like, the designs are fine they're just too realistic i mean they're still goofy and like well not goofy but you know make-believe alien stuff but I, I don't know I, I just find that it's it's not quite the same I, I don't know whatever but yeah so I played um, Samus Returns and uh, I finally get so I finally got an actual good really good uh, Metroid 2 experience and um, like <laughs> if you want to know what my first ever experience of playing Metroid 2 is just merely look up that series where um, the first time we ever decided to play it, uh, we did it as a race on a, on a AIM, a uh, versus race, because we none of us had played that particular Metroid before. 
and no one knew what was what we were in for and my god it was like probably in my opinion the worst choice of any game to play for a race uh <laughs> it was uh yeah i mean like th that game has no map and it is the kind of game where you really gotta um you really gotta uh know where you're going or at least like you know because it was for game boy you just take it with you you play a bit and then you just kind of let it go it's an exploration game I really wish I owned more Metroid in the past because it is one of those franchises where like I can look at it and I can play it today and I would go, if I had these as a kid, oh this is me blending the, the mouth and the eyes and stuff by the way, the face area and kind of blending his armor into the skin. Yeah, and I went, for, I went with the blue eyes even though primarily nowadays they got red eyes but you know, like I said, I think it still looks like an Omega Metroid and you can still tell that's what it is so it's fine. Um. Or at the very least, like a Zeta or something. Um. Oh, what was I saying? <laughs> was it? I was talking about Metroid Two. Yeah, that game. It's got no map, and it's like, yeah, you're supposed. To, yeah, so I was saying. Like, okay. Those games, they feel like the kind of game that if I actually had them as a kid, I would have been so fucking into them. I never had a SNES, you see. Uh, I mean, I did when I was very young, and my mother apparently sold it. Uh, and my brother never forgave her uh, for that but um, yeah and so I kind of skipped out on Super Metroid and like I did have a GBA but like I just never picked up Metroid Fusion because I didn't know what it was really I really wanted Metroid Prime for the GameCube but like back then as well like my mother wouldn't let me uh, buy those kind of games because they were too violent even though it's literally just like a space exploration game, really. I mean, it was probably the darkest one in the series. I say dark, as in aesthetically. <laughs> Let's say, I say the darkest. Uh, I don't know. I don't think any of them are particularly dark, necessarily, theming-wise. Eh, whatever. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, uh, I would have really liked Metroid when I was a kid. And now it's really nice to try and finally like dedicate time to get back into it again. And, like I picked up Samus Returns. I was like, yeah, I should really, I really want to like play more Metroid because I've played lots of Metroid. I've played every game in the past to a certain extent, but I never finished it. I never found the time to dedicate to it. Um, but I've always enjoyed them all like immensely. So yeah, I don't know. This is something a little personal Metroid story. Um, what I th what do I think of uh, Samus Returns? I think it's a really good game. I think it's like a solid Metroid game. I wouldn't say it's my favorite though. And I honestly, with my favorite, and that's the thing, right? It's like I haven't properly, I, f I haven't finished Super, so can I really say it's my favorite? I've gone really fucking far in it. Like, I literally, I was playing it last night and I just killed Ridley. So I mean, there you go. And I, yes, I didn't sequence break or anything like that. So that gives you an idea of where I'm at. I'm in that. But I really, really do enjoy that game. But I super enjoy Fusion, and I love them both for opposite reasons. But Samus Returns, I really enjoy it, but like... I don't know, there are certain things that it just kind of lacks, which all the other games have. Like, boss battles, for instance. Uh, Samus Returns does have um, some boss battles. Uh, most of them are made up by the Metroids, though, is the thing. So it's like, eh, you know. But uh, there's... I would say there's three proper boss battles and they all happen at the end of the game. One of them has was like built up throughout the whole game and then it was immensely hard. I mean like it was challenging at least. It took me like way too many tries in my opinion. <laughs> but it was satisfying to kill. The one the uh, the second one is the boss of Metroid 2, the end uh, which is uh, spoiler alert again, fucking the Queen Metroid. And then there's a secret final boss. And everyone's super like, ooh, you know, it's like, oh my god. I am not like that. I am very unhappy with that final boss. And uh, I just, I don't know if I should spoil it, but I mean, like, if you're a Metroid fan, you can maybe probably take an educated guess as to who that final boss is. And the reason that I don't like that final boss is because I, I can't, how can I put it? Does it have to be in that game? Really? That that boss... You can probably guess who it is. I'm not going to say it out of respect, but fucking hell. Why do they have to shoehorn him into so many fucking games? Like, you can tell who it is. Okay, spoiler alert, it's Ridley, right? It's fucking Ridley. I, 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 I recently did a recording uh, with Mabini 
to fucking talk about stuff and okay whatever i am so i don't understand why they have to shove them into every single game it was a fun boss fight but whatever i'm ran rambling so fucking much i barely talked about the drawing at all but whatever i'm super into metroid right now i got a lot of a lot of shit on my mind so that's why i really wanted to make this piece and i'll be super happy with it you might notice that the background i did like really quickly at the end but my god i was really happy about how it turned out the thing about backgrounds for me is that i always find that they're just so <laughs> They're last minute to me. Like I think about it as I'm going along, but I kind of just like I'm thinking about what I'm doing at the time, and it's always like a oh, I just I don't want to put in whole work for a background. And I just throw something together. But I was really happy about the way it turned out. I got all the colors like exactly how I wanted them to look, and you kind of get the idea of like a bit of a a uh, like um, catwalk and some kind of wise or jungly theme, and that 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 they've got all the colors correct. And I was looking for, and I don't know. Anyway. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I uh, hope you didn't mind me rambling so much and spoiling the game. I mean, whatever. It's like it's not like a lore or story-heavy game. I wouldn't call it spoilers. And it's a game that, like, if you beat it fast enough, you can do it, like, under three hours or whatever. So, anyway, whatever. I've been Eyes Nobody. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Eyes Nobody Draws. And I will see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>